Pietro here. In today's Play With Me session, we're going to improvise together on the harmonic progression of the verse of Message in a Battle, fantastic song by The Police with a great riff and a very nice rhythmic pattern. As usually, we're not going to make a cover of the song, but we're just going to use part of its harmonic progression for our improvisation exercise. We're not going to learn the original riff either, so for those of you who might already know it, it's alright, of course, to use it when it's your turn comping. And if you feel ready to go directly to the interactive backing track, you can look for the exact point in the chapters. For the other ones, it's really interesting, as usually, to understand what the connection between the chord progression and the scale that we're going to use for improvisation is. So we're going to use again the harmonization of the major scale we are in the key of E major again so I write here the harmonization in the past lesson we discovered something more about harmonization of the major scale um, we saw that starting from the seven triads related to the scale we can obtain some reduced forms of chords like the power chords, we talked about the double power chords, we called them uh, that way. Power chords with uh, one more note to reinforce them. We talked about open triads and tenth intervals. On this song, it will be very interesting to try to apply power chords. It's a perfect harmonic structure and rhythmic pattern to train on power chords. So. Uh, let's check out the, what the chords are for this uh, verse of Message in a Battle. As you see, it's a very short chord progression, so we don't even need to write it down. We are directly going to learn it on the guitar and memorize it. It's just two bars long. The verse repeats it eight times, so a total of 16 bars, which is also going to be the period after which we change between comping and soloing. Let's learn the four chords. We have C sharp minor, which is the sixth chord in the harmonization of the E major scale, and we can play it this way with the root on the fifth string, fourth fret, C sharp. The whole triad is this position, but uh, we only keep index and ring to have the power chord. Then A, which is the fourth chord of the harmonization, can be played with the root on the sixth string, fifth fret. The complete triad would be like an F moved at the fifth fret, but uh, again we're just playing the power chord. So if you're not really confident with the bar yet, this song is perfect for you because we're just working with two fingers. Then B is the same position, raised two frets. This would be the triad, and this is the power chord. And this is the fifth chord of the harmonization. And then we finish with the second chord, which is F sharp minor, which can be played with the root on the sixth string, second fret. This would be the complete triad the power chord has always the same shape. It's really important to follow your index, which is going in these four spots. Memorize this, and then the ring finger is going to follow, always at the same distance, the index. Right? Add the rhythm. Uh, as you see, there are two chords per bar, so we can start trying to divide each bar equally in uh, four eight notes, all played with downstrokes. So each one of the power chords is going to be played like one, two, three, four. These are the eight notes. to 
start with. Then the real rhythmic pattern that we're going to use is, is going to be a little more complicated. Let's start with this one. Let's try it together. Take your guitar and follow me. Um, the last one of the four downstrokes, it's the strings, but the fretting end is already moving towards the next chord. So actually you don't really listen to the fourth chord. It's like a ghost note. Let's try it slowly. One, two, three, four. finger underneath the ring to strengthen these power chords with the double power chord. Let's try it once that way, so with also the pinky. One, two, three, four. times as you need to get confident with this power chord movement. Now let's try the real rhythm that we're going to use, which is a little more difficult as we said. What happens is that we're going to anticipate by one eighth note the second, the third and the fourth chords of the progression. So it's not going to be one, two, three, four, one, etc. But it's going to be one, two, three, four, fourth eighth note we already move the fretting end the picking end is going straight forward down strokes in eight notes but the fretting hand anticipates a little bit its movement I am going to play it really slowly try to follow me one two three four the only one that starts in the downbeat but the other ones start a little before in the upbeat we say once again three four part with the um, first example it doesn't matter it would be also good if we played everything with the four downstrokes if you find this uh, anticipated version too difficult but if you can it sounds even better it's much closer to the original riff of the song now let's set the rhythm section. I'm going to play the bass with you today because Gigi is the one who's going to play the guitar on this song. He really loves it, so he insisted to be the one to improvise with you on this session. Let's choose a loop from Drum Genius for the drums. Uh, 
I went in the library Pop Rock and Country and for today's Play With Me session I chose the loop uh, rock number one which sounds like this It's a very straightforward rock rhythm it's perfect for our exercise So, let's try the power chords, you play the power chords and uh, I'm going to play the bass with the drums so power chords plus rhythm section and let's try to play the harmonic progression eight times so we get used to count the period after which we're going to switch between comping and soloing Ready? One, two, one, two, three, four. Second time. you're switching. If you were playing the power chords then at this point it would be your turn to solo and vice versa. So now we're really almost ready to start to play on this harmonic progression and improvise. Let's review the rules of the game. As usually we can start with an intro. I'll set the drums, we can play the harmonic progression twice, you play the power chords, I play the bass, rhythm section. Then Gigi is going to start to solo. You keep playing the power chords from the moment it starts you count eight times the harmonic progression. Then after these eight times you go on the improvisation. It's your turn. As usually, other rule, we start by playing the boxes one by one. We are in the key of E major so the first box that we're going to meet at the beginning of the fretboard is the one named D in the cage system. You start from that one, then you go to the power chords, then when it's your turn again, you're going to improvise in the following one, the one named C in the cage system, etc. When we have used them, all of them one by one, then we will play a few more rounds and we are free to improvise wherever we want along the fretboard. Okay? So let's give it a try. Drums. One, two, three, four. Intro.
Wow, what a fantastic harmonic progression to improvise on. I really love it. I hope you do too. If so, go back and play it again in the following days. So, as usually, you're going to get more and more familiar with it and also with the different rhythms from eight notes to playing fast lines in sixteenth notes and mixing all of the positions. In the meanwhile, thank you so much for playing with me and watching. I really hope you had fun. Subscribe to the channel if you didn't yet to support my work. Leave comments if you have any suggestions for future videos and like the video. Thank you very much and see you soon. Ciao, bye bye. Thank you.